اهلا بكم مره اخرى في صباح الخير الكويت ونقول بان تعرف الشعوب بثقافتها وتتميز العراق بما لها من خصوصيه في العادات والتقاليد والملبس والماكل وانتشرت يمكن اخيرا ثقافه البرامج برامج الطعام وبرامج الطبخ وايضا الكتب التي الفت في هذا المجال عن الطبخ وشؤونه أكيد اليوم سنذهب إلى الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية ونتعرف على الوجبات السريعة اللي انطلقت واشتهرت من هناك ولكن راح نتعرف على مطبخ مميز متخصص على الكثير منا ليس لديه الإلمام الكافي عن ألا وهو السول فود وراح نتعرف أكثر على السول فود وما هي طبعا وشاركنا ضيفنا الزائر من الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية السيد أدريان ميلر وهو باحث أكاديمي في مجال الطعام متخصص في مطبخ سول فود Good morning, and it's a pleasure to have you here in Kuwait TV, and uh, good morning, Kuwait. Oh, thank you for having me on your show. Thank you, Mr. Thank Miller, you and thanks coming. a lot for joining us. Of yeah. course, of course. Yeah. Uh, as I knew that this is your first visit to Kuwait, so we want to know how do you uh, see Kuwait, and what's the reason for your visit? So it is my first time to Kuwait, yeah. and I'm having a great time so far. You have an amazing food scene. نايس. يقول طبعا سيد ميلر بان هذه اول زياره له في الكويت وهو مستمتع كثيرا بزيارته ويقول بان عندكم اكل مميز هنا في الكويت. So the actual reason I'm sure you did not really just come to check our food. So I am a guest of the U.S. Embassy here. Uh -huh. They have a cultural diplomacy program, and so I'm here to do a lot of different events uh -huh. to meet students and Great. chefs and uh -huh. uh, just get to know the people here. Great. So how long are you staying? I'm staying until Saturday, late Saturday night. Well, so just several days. Nice. I hope you enjoy it. Here Thank and you. you will, I'm sure. Yes, we have too many places so you can visit not only the food, but okay. we have lots of places that are interesting. Um, يمكن السيد ميلر يقول بانه هو طبعا ضيف لسفاره الولايات المتحده الامريكيه هنا في الكويت وهو من ضمن برنامج الكلتشر دبلوماسي بروجرام حيث يتعرفون يمكن على ثقافات الشعوب المتعدده ويحاولون طبعا ايضا ينشرون الثقافه هذه ويعرفون خلينا نقول الثقافات الاخرى عليها. So your program includes what visits to maybe uh, some, uh, some, some, some educational institutes? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go to Kuwait University uh, later today to uh -huh. speak to some students. I think they're studying American studies. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, I will meet with some chefs also while I'm here. Nice. Yeah. Kuwaiti chefs? Kuwaiti chefs. That's good because we have great chefs. Oh, that's what I hear. <laughs> and okay. you've been to one of the other universities too, right? I, uh, been, as I learned. Yeah, I've been to Gus and mm -hmm. uh, I had a good okay. time there talking to students. And then, you can also, as we said, the goal of the visit is to see the Miller and the Khalid of the Technology and Science, Gus, and also to see the Khalid of the Kuwait. This day, the 11th of the day, after the program, and the day of the day, we will also be able to see the Khalid of the Khalid of the Kuwait. في طبعا احد الكافيهات الموجودين في شارع فهد السالم اجبار البلوكات اللي بيروح هناك راح يكون يوم السبت العصر ان شاء الله. Can you define what is soul food for the audience and for us as well? Oh, it's a great question. So soul food is the traditional food of African Americans in the United States. So it's a mix of Western Africa, Western Europe, and then what the indigenous people were eating in the Americas. Nice. أيضا يذكر ضيفنا بأن إحنا قلنا اليوم نركز على موضوع soul food. S O U L السول فود السول فود هو احد اقسام الطبخ الافريقي الامريكي هو مجموعه متنوعه من الماكولات اللي طبعا تاتي في خلينا نقول شكل الاطباق الافريقيه التقليديه في جنوب الولايات المتحده الامريكيه از سي ذا تيرم سول فود وير ديت كم فروم سو ذا تيرم اكشلي كمز فروم ذا اكسبريشن اوف بلاك ايدينتي ان ذا يونايتد ستيتس سو ذا ايديا از ذات افريكان امريكانز بيكوز اوف سنتريز اوف اوبريشن وات وي دو از غونا بي ذا موست اليمنتال اكسبريشن اوف يومانيتي ان ذا term that soul mm -hmm. and it really goes back to kind of the black church experience mm -hmm. in America. ايضا يذكر بان يمكن تيرم السول فود اشتهر اكثر في ستينيات القرن الماضي مع طبعا تحديد هويه الافارقه الامريكيين الذين هم من اصول افريقيه وبالتالي هو طبعا مصطلح خلينا نقول نشا ليؤكد على مثل هذه الهويه وهي كلمه شائعه تستخدم لوصف الثقافه الامريكيه بشكل عام ولا ننسى بان ايضا كان هناك يمكن ايضا حركه وكلمه السول ايضا في الموسيقى وغيرها من انواع الثقافات I was even mentioning maybe soul music with James Brown and the others too I'm very impressed yes oh, yeah. it's part of the same thing so yeah the soul music has a lot of inflections from the church uh -huh. so you, you if you grew up in the black church in America you will see some similar music styles played out in soul music وايضا تعود جذورها الى الكنيسه وانواع الموسيقى التي ايضا كانت موجوده هناك ومن التجمع الذي كان موجودا of course there is a great relation between humanity and food yes. uh, and there's an attraction yeah. but let me ask you what attracted you 
to food and cooking and has it been a long time ago I mean is it something uh, that you love to do is it a hobby mm -hmm. or have you studied it yes if you can like explain to us. yeah so I started cooking when I was a child because my mother worked nights uh -huh. and so she would get home too late to really make breakfast so yeah. I started cooking breakfast for my brothers and sisters that's beautiful yeah so I, I understand that you're the eldest I am the eldest. Yeah, because you're cooking for your brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And so. And um, you're single and happy. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks I for saw, mentioning that. It pays to advertise. I saw, <laughs> I saw that in one of your interviews. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But you Actually, you're not a professional cook. I mean, you did right. not really study it or mm -hmm. work as a cook. What's your job? So my job now is I work for something called the Colorado Council of Churches. I'm from Denver, Colorado. Oh, my God. You know I studied there. You did? My elementary. I lived in Colorado for five years. I knew there was something about Denver. you I loved. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. So um, that, that mm -hmm. organization gets Christians together to yeah. do social justice work, to work mm -hmm. on ending poverty, ending yeah. hunger, ending mm -hmm. racism, That's things great. like that. Mm -hmm. um, so when I started cooking, mm -hmm. um, I, I, some foods that may be familiar to mm -hmm. you all is things like fried chicken, yeah. macaroni and cheese, mm -hmm. um, hibiscus, mm -hmm. and okra. Or some of the elements of soul food. يمكن من بعض الأطعمة اللي موجودة في موضوع السول فود اللي هي مثلاً في الدياي المقلي مثلاً السمك المقلي أيضاً هناك الأوكرا اللي هي البامية في أيضاً البطاطا الحلوة. So so many plates and a lot of like different types of food, right? Absolutely. Okay. Now soul food has a reputation for making people gain weight, and so I often get asked, how come I don't weigh 300 pounds? And I tell people they're witnessing the miracle of oversized clothing. وهناك طبعا مكرونه تشيز وغيرها ويمكن ايضا السول فود معروف بانه هو يعني من خلينا نقول من لذتها يزيد كيلوات كثيره على الانسان وبالتالي ممكن يزيد وزنه فيقول انا وايد يسالوني ناو دوز ذا مين اتس نوت هيلثي؟ ات كان ات ديبيندز اون هاو يو ميك ات اف يو دو ا لوت اوف فراينج اند اذر ثينجز اتس نوت هيلثي بت اف يو لوك ات اكشلي وات نيوتريشنست ار ريكومند تو ايت دارك ليفي جرينز سيتس اتس كولر جرينز تيرن اب اند ماسترد جرينز سويت بوتاتوز اند اوكرا اند هايبسكس ذوز ار اول هيلثي اند ذاتس بارت اوف سول فود سو ات جست ديبيندز اون هاو يو ميك ات اي واز توكينج تو عبد الرضا بيفور يو كيم ان اند هي واز تيلينج مي ذات يو روت تو بوكس يس بت ذا بوث اوف ذا بوكس ذي هاف ناثينج تو دو ويز كوكينج Well, kind of. They, kind of? Yes. Because they talk about actually. history, maybe, of cooking? It's the history, So really. can you talk to me or tell me and the audience about your books that sure. you wrote? So the first book I wrote is A History of Soul Food. And mm -hmm. the way I wrote the book is I create a representative soul food meal. Mm -hmm. And I write a chapter about every part of the meal and explain what it is, mm -hmm. how it gets on the soul food plate, what it means for the culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I include recipes. So it has to do with, uh, it does, uh, I mean, it's related to cooking. Right. But, but not recipes. It's not recipes. It's uh, the history. It's really the story. The it's just story. like, why do, we, why do African Americans eat this food? That's one book. That's one book. And the other one? And the second book is, uh, I call the President's Kitchen Cabinet, and mm -hmm. it's the whole, uh, history of African American presidential chefs. Wow. Every president of the United States has had an mm -hmm. African American cook for them. Nice. يذكر طبعا ضيفنا بان الف ايضا كتابين الاول بعنوان The History of Soul Food والكتاب الثاني بعنوان The President's Kitchen Cabinet يقول الكتاب ما هو كتاب طبخ يعني تقليدي لا هو تاريخ مطبخ السول فود ايضا من غرب افريقيا الى خلينا نقول الغرب الامريكي هو يجمع طبعا الثقافه هذه اللي موجوده اللي هي اساسا مثل ما قلنا الامريكيين من اصل افريقي وهو طبعا في كثير من تاريخ ال الشيفز الافريقيين اللي كانوا موجودين بالاضافه الى التاريخ الافريقيين في امريكا وكيف طبعا امتزجت هذه خلينا نقول الاعراق مع بعض يقول ايضا يمكن ملحوظه مهمه بان كل رئيس امريكي في البيت الابيض كان لديه في الشيفز عنده ايضا احد الامريكيين من اصل افريقي لتميزهم بيكوز ذي ار سو اكسبرت ان سوتش ا لايك ذيس از واي ذي Presidents maybe wanted to have mm -hmm. a chef in their right. kitchen, yeah. in cabinet. Because being president of the United States is a stressful job, mm -hmm. and so they want good cooking. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. they, they often would turn to African Americans, because for much of U.S. history, African Americans mm -hmm. have been the face of the best cooking mm -hmm. of the country. Mm -hmm. And they were not only cooks, too, as, mm -hmm. as right. I know. Yeah. So in a lot you saw of, the movie The Butler. I did see the movie yes. The Butler. So very similar story. Mm -hmm. they, not only were they good at what they did in their profession mm -hmm. of cooking, but they were mm -hmm. also family confidants. Mm -hmm. right. And in many cases, these were civil rights advocates. 
advocates. Yeah. So they would talk to the president about mm -hmm. how to improve the status of black mm -hmm. people yeah. in the United States. There's something very interesting and great uh, in your CV that you have worked in the White House. Yes. So tell me about this great experience. So I worked for President Bill Clinton on nice. something, yes, mm -hmm. something called the Initiative for One America. Mm -hmm. And it was about getting people in the United States to talk to each other and listen great. and understand that we have a lot more in common than what mm -hmm. supposedly divides us. Mm -hmm. So that, that was the initiative that I worked and on. And how long did you, were you in that program? I was in, there for about a year and a half yeah. at the very end of President Clinton's second term. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, in the Middle East, we have too many um, uh, kitchens or different ways of cooking. Uh -huh. But in Kuwait, uh, we are distinguished that we have great uh, flavors and uh, great um, recipes and different. And because, you know, we have the sea. You, you should, since you're here, let me tell so, you. Have you tried it, Have actually? you tried, like, no, Zbedi? No, <laughs> I have not tried it yet, okay. but I'm trying it tomorrow. Oh, great. Yes. That's great. So okay. if you're, you're, you said that you're meeting, like, Kuwaiti cooks, uh, they should like prepare zbedi and you know our different kinds of chicken right. tabbag and mechbouz and all of these recipes now that's the fish and rice dish right is that yeah, what you meant the zbedi is the fish and rice okay. dish right. and the zbedi it's one of uh, our famous uh, fish uh, that we are very famous in in Kuwait and it's uh, it comes from our sea and it's a very expensive fish as well. <laughs> all right, now, this, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, the students told me I have to eat with my hands. Is that right? You can't. <laughs> you don't have to necessarily. You don't have to. طبعا يقول لحين ما جرب الأكل الكويتي لكن راح يجربه خصوصا يوم الغد لأن في مثل ما قلنا هذا لقاء مع شيف الكويتيين وبلا شك يسرى ويود إنه هو يتعرف أكثر على المطبخ الشرقي خصوصا الكويتي اللي عندنا. Well, uh, before we end our uh, interview, uh, is there a way to contact you? and learn more about you because I know you have like a website and so on because you tell us about it yes yeah, so my uh, my internet name is soul food scholar all soul mm -hmm. food Foods, scholar all one word so mm -hmm. you can go there the yeah mm -hmm. so that's on Facebook Instagram and Twitter إذا هو سول فود سكولر موجود بالفيسبوك وأيضا ات سول فود سكولر موجود بتويتر وأيضا هو www.soulfoodscholar.com عنده موقع خاص فيه وفي كثير من التفاصيل اللي فعلا شيقة وأنا يمكن اطلعت عليها وأحس بأن فعلا في شغلات هناك وايد حلوة. مستر دريم منر Thanks for being with us. Oh, yeah. May great. I practice my Arabic and say shakran? Ah, yeah, shakran, afwan. It's great to have you in Kuwait. It's great to have you in Good Morning Kuwait and Kuwait TV. And I hope it's not your uh, last visit. You, I hope you visit again. And believe me, when you try this baby, you're going to have to come back to Kuwait and right. try it again. All right, sounds like a good deal. <laughs> we say in Arabic that you're going to eat your fingers. Uh, That's that good, huh? <laughs> so, thanks a lot again. We wish you a pleasant stay in Kuwait. And uh, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you for having me on your show. Thank you. Hey, then, Azai, تحدثنا يمكن عن السول فود وثقافة المطبخ الأفريقي الأمريكي في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية. بلا شك سوف أيضا نلقي ضوء على أهم الأفلام اللي موجودة في البوكس أوفيس في أمريكا لأن هوليوود عاصمة السينما وراح نتعرف على الأفلام الموجودة هناك وأيضا اللي عندنا هنا في الكويت بعد ثواني.